I'm excited today because the rarity and the provenance of this watch are unlike anything we've seen here at Vortec Watch Company. Antique Custer from Vortec Watch Company in Fort Collins, Colorado, and we take antique American pocket watches and turn them into one-of-a-kind wristwatches. Today, though, we're talking about something that's not quite American. It was American-made, but it was manufactured for Great Britain. We're filming this just two days before July 4th, so if you're thinking about how do we tie this in? Great Britain, if you weren't aware, has created the most Independence Days of any other country. And whenever I think about Independence Day, I always think about, especially Great Britain, I think about that meme of the Queen, God rest her soul. I'm looking down, I think it's the, um, I think it's opening ceremony of the Olympics, maybe two, three Olympics ago. Look at all these countries I used to own. So funny. But anyway, Independence Day coming up here in the United States, but we're talking World War II today, specifically Great Britain's involvement. Why? Well, let's zoom out for just a second. So Hamilton Watch Company made most of the pocket watches that we use in our military edition. And this one was also made by Hamilton. Hamilton made over 1 million watches during World War II for the war effort and for all the allied forces, including the Americans, the, the British, and everybody else. Only about 120,000 of those timekeeping devices that Hamilton made were the black dial wristwatch or black dial pocket watch, the 24 hour watch that we call the military edition that I have on my wrist. And that Hamilton called the 4992B. And then from the pocket watches that Hamilton made, 2,312 3992Bs were made. This is a different movement and we'll show you, but this movement is slightly different. It's called the 3992B. Only 2,312 were ever made, and of that, 2,000 of those were sent to Great Britain and used by the Royal Air Force and the Royal Navy. And they were marked with this insignia that the most people refer to as the broad arrow or the Fion. We're calling the watch that we made from it, the Vortic watch here, the Royal Fion watch. But let's talk about the broad arrow insignia that's on not only the movement right here, but also the dial and the case back of the original case. And yes, if you buy this watch, you get the original pocket watch case with all of that World War II engraving. So talking about the broad arrow, this insignia has gone back a very long time. There's a few theories on it. One is dated to 1272, which uh, somebody referenced the Broad Arrow Tower. Whether, I guess, when it was called the Broad Arrow Tower is kind of up for debate, but that tower was, was finished in 1272. The king also used, allegedly, used this Broad Arrow stamp or insignia to mark barrels of wine on a shipment of wine in 1330, again, allegedly. And one of the first, I guess, known dates and historical landmarks that was, that was marked with this broad arrow was 1545 on the wreck. It was a shipwreck of the Mary Rose. There's broad arrows on that shipwreck, and it wrecked in 1545. The military side of this seems to have come in somewhere between 1693 and 1702 with Henry Sidney, the first Earl of Romney, whatever that means. If you're watching this and you're British, please comment so um, us Americans can, one, pronounce these things better, and two, uh, be a little more accurate here. I'm trying the best I can. At some point, roughly, you know, 1700, let's call it, the royal military or the British military started stamping this broad arrow or the Fion symbol on basically everything that it owned, um, and specifically military ordnance. So pocket watches, you know, this is World War II, fast way forward from then. But if you go back to really revolutionary war, speaking of Independence Day, in the 1700s, the king's men in America would stamp the broad arrow insignia on trees, specifically eastern white pines, 
that were to be harvested for the king's navy or the king's use, those trees that would go back to Great Britain or be built into the British navy fleet from American trees. So there's a lot of tie-ins. There's a, just so much depth to history of the Fion or the Broad Arrow. And we're really excited to talk about just, again, that provenance. But let's circle back. World War II, 2,000 of these were manufactured for the Royal Navy and the Royal Air Force. All of them had this amazing, again, this, this is the 3992B by Hamilton. They all had blued screws, which was interesting. We don't see that very often, but you can see there's a few blued screws on these. We, we've seen that in every single 3992B we've seen. Um, it was marked, obviously, 3992B, 22 joules. It's a, a sweeping, hacking second hand, so you have this internal bridge and extra wheel that creates the sweeping central second hand. It was marked U.S. Navy BU ships, and then you have your broad arrow right there on the movement. Over here, you also have, if I'm looking at this correctly, we also have adjusted to temperature and six positions, and that's written right here, which we have not seen that on any similar movement. So all of these engravings seem to be unique to these 3992Bs, and we do not see that, and all 10 of the watches that we're making have those engravings. We're also including the original case back and the case back is marked, obviously, again, here with the broad arrow, but this was the navigation master watch, um, similar to the 4992B that we've talked about before. This one was the 3992B, and a lot of them have the date right here, 1942, right there. And then let's talk dial for a second. Beautiful white dials on these. You have the broad arrow insignia right there on the dial. You have Hamilton there. Amazing, sweeping second hand. All the, the hands on these were the classic style Hamilton hands that you see on a lot of these beautiful white dials. And when you convert that into a wristwatch, here's what you get. And again, we're only making 10 of these. This we call the Royal Fion Watch, named after that Fion or broad arrow symbol there on the dial. Again, the dial, the hands, and the movement are all original. You can see that beautiful movement with all of those engravings unique to this particular pocket watch inside of there, and as well as those blued screws. Just really cool to see all that in there. We decided to use a titanium case on all of these, so it's a little bit lighter than some of the previous versions and matches kind of that Royal Air Force style, right? And then we've polished the bezel, done a polish on the sides, and a brushed finish on the lugs. And so it just gives it a very unique look overall. Again, we're only making 10. Every single one of them comes with a Greg Stevens design strap, iconic British, literally saddle leather for this uh, leather strap. Thank you, Greg. It looks perfect with this watch. That is the Vortic Royal Fion watch, and it comes out very soon. So make sure you check it out. Uh, make sure you check it out online, vorticwatches.com slash military. But again, I just can't stress how just rare these are. I mean, they only made 2,000. Who knows how many made it through the war? After the war, we were told they were taken to the Hermansees Castle, which is where the Greenwich, uh, where GCT comes from, Greenwich Civil Time. It was in Greenwich at the Royal Observatory, was the central time zone for World War II. After the war, they moved it to this Hermansees Castle. And that castle has been well preserved, but obviously that was nearly 80 years ago. So the odds of us being able to find 10 of these all in excellent condition, all with all the engravings, all look the same, and original cases with the broad arrow that, yes, come with the watch. I think this is the rarest thing we've ever made, and I expect it will go very quickly. So again, check it out, vorticwatches.com slash military, so you can get on the waiting list for things like this and this watch in particular. This is called the Royal Fion Watch by Vortic Watch Company. And yes, we thought about calling it the, the Broad Arrow. Um, for a number of reasons, we went with the Royal Fion. For an unrelated reason, I am going to read you a trademark description and legal disclaimer. Vortic Watch Company salvage and preserves antique American pocket watches and turns them into one-of-a-kind wristwatches. Everything between the glass on a Vortec watch 
is nearly 100 years old, in this case, roughly 80 years old, manufactured by the original Hamilton Watch Company in Pennsylvania for World War II and sent overseas to the British. The Broad Arrow insignia and anything referring to the Broad Arrow was manufactured back then for World War II and has nothing to do with Vortec or any of Vortec's affiliates. Vortec is in no way associated with Hamilton or any similar trademark associated with the Swatch Group or similar brands. If you have any questions about that, please go to VortecWatches.com and read the full legal disclaimer that's on the bottom of every single page. And as always, ask questions anytime. But just to recap, all of these Vortec watches, one of a kind, everything inside is an original antique. This one in particular is one of the most rare and contains this broad arrow insignia, and we call it the Royal Fion Watch. I hope you enjoyed. Again, vortecwatches.com slash military to learn more about these watches. Vortecwatches.com slash newsletter to hop on our email list and learn more as we go and get alerted every time we have a new video about these one-of-a-kind watches that we put out. And email us at any time, info at vortecwatches.com so we can help you out and answer your questions. Thank you for checking us out here on YouTube. Throw your questions underneath us here on YouTube and don't forget to subscribe while you're here.